16 degrees Celsius, 59 to 61 Fahrenheit. That's it from me. Good night to you. You want me to admit it was a terrible thing we did to Hamburg. Right. It was ghastly. Unless you can offer me alternative targets that will win the war quicker, shut up. You return to your conscience and let me get back to the war. John Thor is Bomber Harris, Sunday at 8.35 on BBC One. On two in five minutes, Jack Pitsy boards a slow boat from Sulabaya to examine the five religions which flourish and pervade politics throughout Southeast Asia. Our film, on one in 50 minutes, portrays a highly dangerous wartime assignment for a band of paratroopers dropped inside Nazi Germany, where eagles dare. But now we go back to the week that led up to the outbreak of the Second World War. Sue Lawley presents the news of this day, 50 years ago. Good evening. The headlines tonight, Thursday the 31st of August 1939. The Royal Navy has been mobilised. The fleet is now at maximum war readiness. Other reserves are being called up. The evacuation will begin tomorrow. Three million people are to leave our cities. Silence from Berlin. Hitler has not replied to the British warning on Poland. The government has declared it a crime to hoard food, but some housewives have beaten them to it. In the last war, I queued up for hours, waiting for four ounces of butter. This time, my cupboard is filled. And the Belgian bridge, which was detonated by lightning, ten people have been killed. Britain's servicemen and her civilians have been ordered to make ready for war. The Royal Navy has been fully mobilised and the remainder of the regular army reserve and members of the Royal Air Force Reserve are being called up. Officers and men should stand by for instructions. The evacuation of children, pregnant women and the disabled from London and the other cities and towns will begin early tomorrow. Some three million people will be on the move. Many roads out of London will be running one way only. We'll bring you the details in a moment. But first, a report from our diplomatic editor, Christopher Lee.